the goal of fellowship haven't looked at the channels and the platforms of fellowship let's look at the goal number one transformation what is transformation transformation is the process of change that can happen in the life of a believer the process of change that can happen in the life of a believer in keeping with or as touching the model of God for that believer which is Christ the model for the believers change as far as God is concerned is Christ the Bible says Christ is the image of the invisible God Colossians 1 15 so our transformation the goal of our transformation the goal of our change from one dimension after another is that your life comes to a point of conformity to the image of Christ so people can look at your life and see through your life the wisdom of Christ see through your life the person of Christ your character begins to display the person of Christ they may not have been around 2000 plus years ago when Jesus walked on the earth but a man can look at your life and be able to see through time to Jesus that walked on earth who carried the fullness of God in him that is the, that is what transformation is all about this is the goal for fellowship number two the goal of fellowship is growth and edification growth and edification first Corinthians 14 in verse 4 the Bible says that he that speaks with a tongue edifies himself but he that prophesies edifies the church right edifies himself recharges himself another meaning for edification is to build to build some of you are known to you god has invested so much in you by reason of your fellowship with the holy spirit that what is in you now can sustain an entire community what is in you now is strength that is commensurate to 100 men but when the season for manifesting that reality comes that's when your eyes will be open in first john chapter 3 in verse 2 it says beloved now are we the sons of god he said though it does not yet appear what we shall be like he said but when he appears we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is growth and edification and number three the goal of fellowship is preservation so number one is transformation that you are transformed to conform to the image of Christ Jesus number two is growth and edification that you are matured in truth you are matured in character you are matured in grace and number three is preservation in first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 23 Paul made a very powerful rendition a statement there that I want you to put inside of your heart as far as your Christian experience is concerned he said I pray that your spirit soul and body be preserved blamelessly until when the coming of the Lord remember the Bible says we are the salt of the earth and one of the one of the the, 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 the duty of salt is to do what preserve now the only way you can preserve your world is when the working of the spirit of god in you commands spiritual psychological and even physical preservation oh yes you can be preserved all around if god does not preserve you physically you will die before fulfilling your god or dead destiny I hope you know on this earth death is a reality it is possible that the life of a man can be cut short but the bible says of you it says you shall fulfill your days i prophesy to you in the name of jesus by the working of the holy spirit in your life i declare that the mouth of the grave is shut over you and i declare that the fullness of your days you will see
in the name of Jesus Christ that you are preserved spirit soul body <laughs>